everybody. So sorry, I am late. I know I am late, um, as I always am. Uh, we're going to get the change around because we're getting ready for puppies. Um, running late, and I'm hoping you've got some questions for me. Um, uh, but it's not going to be a very long live today because I am seeing my mum and dad for the first time in just under a year. In a minute, they are arriving, so I will um cut it short if they do arrive because I just need to see my mum and dad. Uh, I never thought I'd say that. Never did think I would say that because they have driven me mad more times than not. But I've actually really missed them. I'm so looking forward to seeing them. So, yeah. So, um, let me know if you've got any questions. Pop them inside. Um, trying to be asked while my house is clean. Because otherwise my mother would come in and go, you dirty bugger. Um, but as it is, it's clean. So I am really sorry. I got stuck in the supermarket uh, trying to get crisps and wine and all the stuff that I shouldn't be eating. Um, and... Here I am, ready to answer your questions. Um, what have I got to tell you? Have I got any news? Any news? Um, no, but I've got a question. Perfect. I'm 20 weeks. Is it okay to have my hair dyed? Yes. Go for it. It's fine. Years ago, we used to use like really harsh peroxides and all that sort of jazz. So it was all like, oh, you shouldn't do that. shouldn't do that. But yeah, you're absolutely fine to get your hair dyed. Go and treat yourself, love. Look fabulous. Um, yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, have I got anything? I'll tell you what's going on this weekend. We are, have got our colic workshop and we've got a pelvic girdle pain workshop. So anybody who's struggling with pelvic girdle pain, please do um, go on there or they've got a baby that's screaming. My baby is 15 weeks now and just got my period since being pregnant. Is it normal to be heavy? Results in wearing maternity pads? Uh, yeah, I would say it's probably quite normal to be quite heavy. Um, as long as you're not changing a pad more than every couple of hours though it shouldn't be gushing if you do find it you're like flooding then you need to just maybe talk to your gp but no they can be quite heavy on your first period hideous isn't it uh, i'm 26 weeks and after bad constipation i now have giant bum grapes nice it hurts to sit or walk this is my third pregnancy i've never had them before so i'm hopeful for some advice please you need to go and get yourself some anusol from the chemist um, which is about as much as we can do to help, really. I think I have got a post on my Instagram at the Honest Midwife on piles where some people have put up their own like remedies and stuff. So you might want to have a little look at that. But yeah, and your soul is probably what we're going to prescribe for you and reassurance that it will go away after the baby's born. Um, we're due a baby in about 10 weeks. He's going to have to stay in the nickel ward for some time. He has Down syndrome and is small with a few other issues. This isn't my first baby, but I don't know what I should pack for a baby who will be in NICU. Um, so it's not really that much different. You might want to pack smaller nappies if you're expecting your little one to be small. Um, but no, I wouldn't say anything particularly additional. Um, you want to find out really what their facilities are for you in terms of whether they're going to allow you to room in, so stay overnight. So if so, you're going to want to pack some stuff. But you'll probably be coming and going. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have thought there's anything major. You might want to pack a book, something like that, because you'd be, although you're going to spend a lot of time staring at your gorgeous baby, but you may have to spend some time sitting around and stuff as well. So I would pack a couple of bits to occupy yourself, take the camera, sort of thing. Um, okay, will I need to have a C-section if I had a third degree tear and had to go to theatre to be stitched up? Not necessarily, Morgan, it's a personal choice. So some women say, do you know what, not doing that again, um, and opt for a cesarean, but we wouldn't push you to have a cesarean section. Um, so it, it, it's something to discuss with your consultant, but if you want to have a cesarean section, they would, they would really support it, probably. Um, that's not to say that you're going to have another one, but they would, you know, they would understand, you know, I've, you've had a, a difficult experience, um, you might want to do things differently. Uh, someone's saying, comfy slippers and a dressing gown from the walk from ward to NICU. Good shout good shout um i found out last week that i'm pregnant one or two weeks on the 13th of may i spotted some pinkish brown color with some clots and i'm still having some bleeding but not red like period help please help um unfortunately i wish there was something i could do to say to help but there is nothing i can do to reassure you because it could be something it could be nothing um i would probably um at one to two weeks, I would just watch and wait and see what happens. If you start heavy bleeding, then you need to get checked out. When having a planned C-section, do you pack your own baby milk and take it with you, or do you, the hospital provide? You need to take it with you. Um, yeah, we don't provide. It doesn't make any odds whether you're having a cesarean or a vaginal birth. We wouldn't provide it, um, so pack it with you. 
I'm 15 weeks pregnant and I started feeling uh, my baby flutters last week and now I've not felt any moves for three days. I'm wondering if I can still go get checked ever because I've had three miscarriages before falling on this one and I don't know if I'm paranoid or if it's normal for me to be worried about it. I would give your midwife a ring and just say, look, I'm getting myself in a tizzy. Is there any chance you could listen in? She might say no because it's so early, um, but that's where I would be I would be touching base with first. Um, the problem is, is at 15 weeks, we wouldn't necessarily be looking at regular movements at that point. But if you felt them and now haven't, I, I'd be surprised if you wouldn't listen in. I would give that a go. Um, due third baby in 13 weeks, I've become so tired in the last week. Is it normal? And I don't remember this in my last two pregnancies. Well, Jodie, in your last two pregnancies, you didn't have two other kids that you were looking after. So you're going to be a bit tired. But at 27 weeks, I would suggest that there is every chance you could be slightly anemic. So I'd ask your, blood, your midwife for a blood test because you might need to be put on an iron. I've just been diagnosed with pelvic girdle pain again as I'm 17 weeks the physio will take a few weeks as I'm quite early although bump is already getting overgone um I've looked on them and there's loads I sorry I'm completely I've been advised to purchase my own PVG support the thing is with pelvic girdle pain there are some things that you can do there's my mother live in shot in front of the whole of the nation um um, there are some things that pelvic girdle belt will help with, but some that it's not recommended for. I'll be two minutes. No, don't go in the lounge. Okay. Um, there are some things that it's recommended for and some not. What I would recommend is you do the pelvic girdle workshop, which is on Sunday. And Michelle, who's our specialist women's physio, is going to really help and give so many hints and tips of stuff that you can do. So I would do that. I'm so sorry, I know it's all flustered today, but they're just watching. My baby is nine months and she has fungal skin infection under her armpits. And I've used all prescribed medicines, medication provided, but it won't seem to get any better. Um, these things tend to go with time. I don't have a, a major thing to advise, Soraya, because it's a bit out of my scope of practice. One thing you might want to try, though, is bathing with oats. So if you get some porridge oats and put them in a sock and wet them, the, the fluid that comes out will be milky. That is thought to really help with those sort of things. So give that a go. If it, is it safe to have a C-section if you're underweight and have some health issues like anemia? Rufus, come here. Um, that's, again, Denise, isn't for me to really say because I don't really know your full clinical picture. Und being underweight isn't necessarily something that we would recommend a cesarean section for. In fact, if anything, I would say we would probably prefer you to have a vaginal delivery. But I would, I would speak to, um, I would speak to your consultant. My mum is fantastic. She does have her moments. Just that she's slight vacant. She's now wandering around the house. Don't know what the hell she's doing. She'll be checking. She'll be doing that dirty cow. That's what she'll be doing. Um, I was anemic and a bit underweight, and I had a natural birth with my first child. Yeah. Uh, I have to be careful because she has a stoma, oh bless you, but um, and even so the stoma and the, the skin thing, that shouldn't impact and it's a very natural thing to do, so I would probably still give that a go, I would give that a go. Right guys, I am going to have to go, I have not seen them for such a long time, I am so sorry for putting it short, um, I hope I have answered all your questions. Um, I, there's no more coming through so I will be back next week and I hope that like me that you guys are seeing your family this week and having a nice time and I will have a glass of champagne with you all because you can't well unless you've got a baby those of you who've got a baby can have champagne um, you're all ace and I shall see you all again soon take care